I got an inquiry on my uh, YouTube account from a person who goes by the handle Yes Really. I don't know if this is a male or a female, but they were saying, have you ever tried non-food items like detergents and stuff? So hey, I'm up for the challenge. So I went through my house and I found all these detergents and such I could find. So we have our Tide, we have our Dawn Liquid, let's see we got Swab Deep Moisture Conditioning, we have the Swab uh, Deep, Most, uh, see, Deep Moisture Shampoo, and then we have the 2-in-1 Shampoo, we have the Counterfeit Pine Sol which goes by Pine Glow, let's see I have Equate uh, Hand Soap, we have Murphy's liquid soap, oil soap, Murphy's oil soap. Now, just for the fact it has oil in the title, I'm not too promising about that. And we got bleach. And I'm not quite sure if I want to try to freeze dry bleach because I'm afraid that the vapors of the bleach might uh, have an unusual effect upon the oil. So I think I'm going to throw the bleach out and just. If, if anyone knows, as far as uh, cleaning uh, chemicals, bleach and ammonia don't mix. Never, never, never uh, clean something with bleach and ammonia at the same time or after each other because basically bleach and ammonia makes a pretty toxic uh, fume. So, I got little samples. We're going to take samples of all these. I'm not going to fill these full. Uh, a tray full of these chemicals or products. I'm just going to do some little samples. So here we go. So I made a bunch of these little cut things uh, out of aluminum foil. Uh, I just cut little squares of foil and wrapped them around the base of a cup. I wanted to use aluminum because it will transfer the heat better from the trays into metal rather than trays into like a plastic container. So what we're going to do, let's see, let me zero this out. We're going to start with Swab 2 and 1 Plus Shampoo and Conditioner. So we're going to go ahead and put in, let's see how much we want to put in here. We're going to put 20 grams into each of these little container. So there's 20 grams of the swab 2-in-1. So we're going to have to remember these and mark these so we know which is which. Okay, I'm all done here. We have our eight different cleaning chemicals. So I have Dawn Dish Liquid. I have Pine Glow, which is like Pine Sol. I have Murphy's Oil Soap. I put this all by itself. Because it says oil, I'm thinking this thing might just want to explode in the in the freeze dryer. I don't know. And then I have swab, swab, two in one conditioner and shampoo. And then I just have the shampoo by itself. I have the swab conditioner here. This is just a Walmart basic hand soap. And I have the Tide uh, laundry detergent. And I was thinking, well, why would you someone want to do this? Well, you know, you think about it, maybe the Dawn, the Tide, the hand soap, the conditioner and stuff, I don't know, maybe if you're going to the moon you want to make things as light as possible. I don't know. Maybe for camping. But it'll be interesting to see how much water are in these products and what the product will look like once the water is removed. So I'm everything weighs 20 grams including the container. So when we're all done if this stuff doesn't foam up and explode in my uh, freeze dryer, we should be able to weigh it again and see how much water it contained. So, this will be an interesting experiment. Okay, everything's pre frozen, ready for the freeze dryer. This is our conditioner, hand soap, Tide. Tide is still a little bit soft. Dawn, uh, Pine Glow, oil soap. Uh, the two-in-one shampoo and the regular shampoo. So we're ready to freeze dry. We're 
done with the freeze drying. Okay, have some interesting things here. Uh, the first thing here, this is the pine glow or the pine saw. There's nothing in there except just a little bit of residue that's kind of oily. So the pine glow is mostly water. I mean, that's really, I mean, just give you an idea. If I were to wipe this out, that's all that was left. So, all the water in the pine glow totally evaporated. This is the Dawn dish liquid. And what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and weigh this. I don't think there's any reason to weigh the pine glow because it's pretty much empty. We started at 20 grams. So the Dawn dish liquid came out to be 7 grams. So at 7 grams, all that's left is this. It kind of kind of has the uh, softness of like a bar of soap and so that's interesting this is Dawn dish liquid we use this every day the next one is Murphy's oil soap and I thought this thing with oil in its name I thought this thing would foam all over the place but this came out started at 20 grams it's now trying to think about four grams so this is Murphy's oil soap it also feels feels like a bar of soap it kind of feels like the uh, you know the egg containers that are made out of styrofoam that's what it feels like So, it's lightweight, feels like styrofoam, but that's Murphy's oil soap. The next on the list is shampoo. This is Suave regular shampoo. It came out 4 grams, so this was 16 grams of water. And this feels like thin styrofoam too. So that's suave shampoo. The next one is suave two in one shampoo. This is shampoo and conditioner in one. And that also weighed four grams, so 16 grams of that was water and it's it's a little bit more brittle than the other stuff okay this is swab conditioner and it's seven grams so this had a little bit less water in it and you can see that this thing is almost paper thin so this is the swap can oh this is interesting it doesn't like to pull apart very easy so that's the the heavy body conditioner the next one is hand soap and this is wow this is down to two grams so 18 grams of this was water and this is this really flaky it foamed up a bit as you can see But there's hardly anything here and it's stuck to the aluminum foil pretty good so this is basically hand soap the last one is Tide laundry detergent 
and this is coming out 11 grams so that means 9 grams of this was water. Now Tide is normally that really deep blue color and this turned out to be green and it's still kind of sticky and it was sticky when I first pulled it out of the freezer before I freeze dried it but this still is kind of moist. If you ever spilled Tide on your on your uh, washing machine and you wiped up days later how kind of sticky it is well this is almost exactly the same thing so this is actually <clears throat> quite gooey almost like a taffy so the moisture in this was not removed at all so there's a good chance that whatever water that is used in Tide, there's other liquids in Tide that do not contain water and so there wasn't anything to pull from but there was some water in here and so that's kind of a mess. So that being said these are all the freeze-dried non-edible things. Now when I when I did this I did not put any food in the freeze dryer because I didn't know this would probably contaminate the food or give the food a an off flavor or do something but you can freeze dry non-food items. I don't know why you would want to but it's possible and we did it. So it's kind of a interesting thing to do. So there you go. Now rehydrating this. So this is the Murphy's oil soap. Very lightweight. And just a little bit of water. And like it just almost disappears. It goes right back to that kind of a golden color that you're probably used to. Now this is a hand soap. Give it a little bit of water and it immediately dissolves back in the hand soap. I could see maybe a, I don't know, I don't know if the weight would be worth it but if I guess if you're going on a long pack and you needed some hand soap that didn't have any weight to it, yeah I guess that could work. Now this is swab, this is a swab two-in-one conditioner. So this is shampoo and conditioner in one. Add a little bit of water and it kind of goes back to what it once was. Still has a hard time staying in some chunks. So this would be the shampoo for your hair. Now this is the Dawn Dish Detergent. Same thing as we have right here. This is actually Dawn Platinum Dish Detergent. So with adding just a little bit of water. It's not hydrating too easy but it probably needs some time for the water to soak in. So that's taking us good old time. The last one, this is the Tide detergent. This is like the one that's just a sticky, sticky mess. And the water, it's not doing much to it. It's dissolving it. But it's not it's not going back to its normal blue self. It's just a green slimy mess. So that's it for freeze-dried uh, non-food items. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is probably the cleanest my hands have ever been. Please subscribe and give us a like. Thank you for your time.